Find out what's going on. Get involved. Change things from the inside. Make a difference. Take pride. Multicultural at its best. The Louisa Marshall Show. Coming up. All new Simply the Best. Get inspired. Filipino fashion designers are rising, making waves and now competitive in the international market, especially in Hollywood and beauty pageants. What makes Filipino fashion designers unique or different? Incorporating drama into their creations makes them different. On the show, the author of Fashion Filipino Hollywood, The World, Hollywood entertainment columnist, Janet Nepales. So this is my way of highlighting them in the book and giving them a platform. To... Also joining us is the book publisher, a fashion icon herself, and a supermodel, Bessie Badilla. This is my life, you know, fashion was my life, or up to now, I'm still, I'm still doing a lot of uh, fashion work for... Together, they uplift the very best Filipino fashion designers, not only in Hollywood, but all over the world. So we want our readers um, to feel that they have a connection with, with everyone that they see on the, on the page. Get ready to be inspired. All these, coming up. Today is gonna be awesome. Joining us from Los Angeles are my amazing friends to talk about their new book, Fashion Filipino Hollywood The World. Hello, Janet! Hey, Lisa! Wow! Janet, I'm speechless again. So speechless. You you and Ruben are they, you always make me speechless. Uh, oh, but uh, anyway. I know you haven't launched your new book yet, but uh, let's talk about your fashion Filipino Hollywood, the world. Wow, what a big, big surprise. I'm, I'm so yeah, and it's really easy. big. It's really big. 12 by 14, glossy, 200, more than 200 pages. And the back, there we go. <laughs> wow, so, it's beautiful. It's really amazing. Bessie was the one who published it all the way from the Philippines and uh, we did it during pandemic days and so we had to call each other by FaceTime or do a lot of emails back and forth. Again. So it was very <laughs> challenging but we made it. You we made did. it. Janet, <laughs> Janet, this is a, a, your shout out to all the Filipino fashion designers all over the world who are making it in the international scene. So uh, again, you know, congratulations on the book. So Thank my you. question to you right now is, why is it important for us, all of us, Pinoys, wherever we are all over the world, why is it important for us to uplift Filipino designers? Of course, because they're always taken for granted. Nobody appreciates them when when we are doing a lot they're doing a lot of work on the red carpet in Cannes, Venice, Toronto you see them being worn by J-Lo, Nicki Minaj and Beyonce and everybody important in Hollywood but we're always hearing about the western designers not the Filipino designers so this is my way of highlighting them in the book and giving them a platform to show their creativity, their genius, their hard work, and originality. So I'm really proud of the book. This is one of a kind. Nobody has done the red carpet uh, designs of the Filipinos. So it's a one of a kind book and it has all their it, my interviews on them. I interviewed them. And one of the highlights of the book also is uh, Rocky Gutter Call was I interviewed him two days after I interviewed him, he passed away. So it's also a tribute also to Rocky and his creative work because I was the last journalist to interview him. So it's very touching that he wasn't able to see the book, you know. And of course, there's Josie Natori, who is an icon, and she agreed to be interviewed and share her work with us. So that's another plus for the book. And all these famous uh, desi Filipino designers all over the world, Dubai, Philippines, you know, and the U.S. And they're all sharing with us their talent and, you know, creations in the book. And famous photographers like Philbert Jagoku, 
uh, Stanley Mirador and other photographers contributed also to the book. So it's a first time. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. Well, this book proves that Filipino f- fashion designers are rising, making waves, and now uh, really uh, being con- competitive in the international market, especially in Hollywood and beauty pageants. So let's welcome the publisher. Hey, yes. Bessie! Hi! Hi, hey, Bessie! Hi, thank you for having us, Luisa. Oh. It's always a pleasure to, you know, to be with you and in your show. Thank you so much. Well, you know what, Bessie? I'm always happy to have you and, and Janet on my show. So, Bessie, what makes Filipino fashion designers different or unique from other designers? I know you have been a fashion icon for so long, like be- being a supermodel yourself. So, Tell me about it. I think what makes them different. I think we're different, or the you know the Filipino designers are different because Filipino culture is so dramatic. We are a very dramatic people, you know, and I think um, the Filipino designers use this drama, you know, into creating uh, clothes and the outfits for the celebrities and their clients, obviously. But it's it's something that. The world is looking for, especially on a red carpet, you want drama. You want people to remember what you're wearing. You want to re- people to remember how dramatic you came in and the, your beautiful clothes that, you know, that uh, people will not uh, forget and even make it to the best dress um, for that evening. And I think that's what, what Filipinos, uh, Filipino designers are, 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 that's what makes them different. We are very dramatic. And incorporating drama into their creations makes them different, and at the same time, uh, it makes them um, the, the the choice of celebrities to wear for the red carpet. You published your first book last year. Was it last yes. year or late last year? Last, last early year. last yes. year. Yeah, it's through a writer's lens by our good friend and Janet's better half, you know, Ruben Nepales. Yes, and now this. Yes, so, my second book. <laughs> and, and I, I, so, Bessie, why is this book very personal to you? Well, it's a fashion book. You know, um, I'm coming from the world of fashion, being a fashion model. And it's, it's very, very uh, personal because I understand it. This is my life. You know, fashion was my life. Or up to now, I'm still, I'm still doing a lot of uh, fashion work for, for the younger generation of uh, Filipino designers. So to me, I, I used to, to breathe fashion, you know. It, it uh, not only made me very happy, but it also made me earn money. You know? So it was really part of me. And uh, up to this day, I can say that um, fashion will always be a part of my life, a part of who I am. And so doing this book for Janet, fashion, Filipino, Hollywood, the world, it's not only personal, but it's like I know how to strategize, you know, the, the, the art direction and the layout uh, design because I understand what I'm doing because it's fashion. Janet, there are amazing Filipino designers I met through you and Ruben at the Golden Globes, and they're all included in the book. Uh, uh, David Tupas, uh, we were talking about him earlier, uh, Oliver Tolentino, and Alan Del Rosario. And I met also Francis Libby Rand at the Philippine yes. Runway in Portland. Remember that, Bessie? Yes. Yeah, yes. yes. Who, 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 yeah. So who else is included in the book? Oh, well, we have Michael Cinco, uh-huh. and uh, Fern Amato, and Estra Santos, Rahul Laurel, uh, Josie Puy- Natori. Honest, yeah. RC Kailan, Josie Natori, Rocky Goddard Call, as I mentioned. Yeah. Uh, that's it. I think. That's wow. <laughs> but there's so many of them, right? Yeah. <laughs> and there are still very uh, young, upcoming. Oh, Kenneth Barlis is the young, upcoming, but he yeah. has made it already in even in Paris and Dubai. Oh, and- yeah, I read about them. I read about them. So you you have been covering the Golden Globe red carpet. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that must be heaven. That must be heaven. So do you have any favorite actress on the red carpet that proudly wore a gown by one of our awesome Filipino designers? So many. Yeah, well, Billy Porter. 
you know, the, and he's in pose. He's one of my favorite. Every time he goes on the Golden Globe or Oscars or any award shows, he's always flamboyant. And yes. he has been worn by Francis Liburan twice, you know, Emmys and uh, other award shows. And Sofia Vergara, Vergara, Michael Cinco dressed her up on the red carpet. And Jennifer Lopez has worn Michael Cinco. And uh, Oliver Tolentino has uh, dressed up also a number of celebrities on the red carpet, including uh, Robert Lopez, a Filipino uh, composer who's an EGOT. <laughs> Emmy, yeah. I see that. Know. I see. <laughs> yes. Wow. So we, we have a lot of this. Uh, Francis Liberan also on the red carpet. He has this yes. Card. Yes. Dressed up a lot of um, celebrities. And you've also so, worn yourself, uh, uh, Janet, you've also worn uh, some of their yeah, well, it's most of them. Of them. <laughs> most of them. <laughs> most of them. Well, <laughs> teka talaga. My gosh. So oh, that's I why when that. I'm on the red carpet, people, uh, the celebrities are asking me, who are you wearing, Janet? Because they're really impressed with the, what I'm wearing, the gown that I'm wearing. And most of the time, I have the designer with me to introduce to them. And uh, they get more clients. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. See how Janet can uplift all the, the Filipino okay. designers who's dressing her up. So, hey, don't forget Janet. <laughs> and Bessie. Yes. Oh, my gosh, Bessie. You always look fabulous on the red carpet. You, you have worn some of the best gowns created by Filipino designers. So, ev right. every designer, yeah. every designer has his or her own style. So, what resonates to you the most? Is it glamour? Is it comfort? Is it color? Or is it fabric? Because you are a supermodel yourself. So all of the above. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for me, very first thing, for me, it has to be very elegant. It has to be very elegant. And then second, it has to be very comfortable. Because you don't only walk the red carpet. You have to sit down and watch the show. You know, and you have to eat. If it's too tight, how can you eat? You know, you you will you will rip the zipper or something if you if it's not comfortable. So I really like. Sometimes I even go for comfort number one, and then number two it has to be elegant. It doesn't necessarily you know have to be a certain kind of color or or style. I just want it elegant and comfortable. Because those two are the most, I think, those two are the most uh, important things for me. Yeah, yeah, I, I I agree with Bessie because when I ask a designer to do a dress for me, I say, don't give me a long train because I'm working that day. Yeah, and <laughs> well, you need people, people to step to on your train. Yeah, you know, you're running on your high heels. You're walk yeah. working. I'm actually working during an award show, so uh, that's comfort number one, and then you know the glamour and the beauty yeah. of the gown. And not too extravagant because you're not a celebrity. You know, you're just there to watch the show. And for you, you're working, um, Janet. You cannot outstage the celebrities <laughs> because really, with our Filipino fashion designers, it's not you know it's not hard to wear something that can upstage the entire show. Yeah, I think I almost yeah. have that. Yeah. They, they, I they, almost can have go, that. they can go overboard, but yeah. <laughs> I think Janet is gu guilty of uh, upstaging one time. Many times. Yeah, many times. Okay. Sige, sabihin na natin many times. Many times. But, but you know, it, it's not her fault. She no, because... Uh, it's the, she didn't mean to upstage no, the rest the, of them. The, 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 the gowns, or the clothes that she's worn on the red carpet, they, they're really very eye-catching. Yes. Not only they're very elegant and very, very, um, uh, you know, uh, beautifully made, but really, even the celebrities themselves, I've seen it. I've, I've been witness to this. I've seen, I have seen um, uh, no less than uh, Angelina Jolie tell her, Janet, I like your dress. <laughs> yeah. And, and then she made it a point that she knew or she told uh, the, the celebrity who she was wearing. And you know what? The, she, right away, she said to her, to her assistant, get the name and the number yeah. which janet you know she gave it right away yeah. the name of the designer and the number 
True story. True story. <laughs> so there you and go. She's, Angelina she's Jolie. A walking, she's a walking commercial for all this uh, or advertisement for all these uh, designers that she wears on the red carpet. I was going to add also, like one time, I almost had a wardrobe malfunction because oh. one of my dresses got hooked up. It has a brooch and it hooked up to Alec Baldwin's suit. <gasps> So oh, Alec, no. I, went, I kept telling Alec, Alec, Alec. And he thought I was like a fan, like following him around. I said, I'm, <laughs> I, I'm hooked to you. <laughs> we'll be back with Fashion Filipino Hollywood The World. Don't go away. Do you think that no matter how amazing Filipino designers are, they are still facing big challenges and are, are still quite, quite underrated. I don't want to use the word underrated, but do you think they are still quite underrated in the international world? I think, I think so, but some of them are really pushing it up there, that level like Michael Cinco, Fernamado, they are already international, internationally known. They're known names already. Yes. yes. They're very popular. And they're very yeah. well respected already in the industry. But for the other ones, you know, we need to help them. That's why we are showcasing them on the book. Because I think some of them just needs a push, just needs the lift and the, the, pop, the merchandising and everything. Because... We, they, they don't have the access to Hollywood. And it, since we have access to Hollywood, it's a means of helping these fashion designers to be able to be uh, shown to any, everybody through so the what, book. What else do we have to do with, uh, you know, to showcase all of these Filipino designers? Well, Is wear it, them whenever we can. Yeah. Yeah, that's the only way. And also for me, for me, I think, you know, okay, they're they're very underrated at the point at this point. But they're slowly, slowly creeping up there, going up and getting uh getting um uh uh their names getting it you know on news on the news, you know, for red carpets and many other things, like not only red carpets, but also for international um magazines. Yeah. They should, they should be, they should be um, doing it also for themselves. They have to be, you see, it's, it's really a lot of, a lot of, um, uh, not propaganda, but a lot of publicity. You need a lot of publicity. Yeah. It's number you know, one, it, right? It, it, yeah. It's very expensive. You know, you, it is. sometimes, you know, a photo shoot can cost a lot of money, but you need to do it. You need to do it because when when magazines ask for for you know for for uh, photos, you cannot give your old photos. You have to have yeah. current photos yes. of your current um, of your current collection, and it is really a very expensive thing to do. But that's how we we also want to um, to to support our Filipino designers. You know, like when people ask me to do a fashion shoot, I will not choose. You know, um, uh, a Western designer. I would choose Filipino. Yeah, because they're they're really very good, and there's 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 nothing else you have to do. You just put it on, and you look great. Do you and Janet have a tough time picking the you know the the right pictures? I, I know well, that yeah, because there's so many, right? So you yeah. just have to. Yeah. Wow. Well, everybody yes, submitted yeah. photos to me and yeah. then yeah. I just gave everything to Bessie and she will tell me this photo is not good, it's not high resolution or not artistic. Yeah. Oh. Some, some photos. And then yeah. I asked more design the designer, send me more photos. And yes. then I send them again to Bessie and I let her choose. Final yeah. choice, Bessie. Yeah, I, I feel sad because we couldn't include everybody who, who submitted yeah. their pictures. Oh. But you see, we had to really make it uh if I could include everybody, I would have. But photos for a big book like this, it's 12 by 14. You really need high resolution photos. Yeah. You know, and the images would just pixelize when I when I put it in the in the layout. So I just yeah. simply couldn't I couldn't use a lot of these pictures. So we were able to trim it down to just 15, 15 um, designers with you know very, very good pictures for the book. 
Yeah. But don't worry because we're going to have a third book and probably we'll we'll be able to use a lot of uh, a lot more more than just 15 people, 15 designers next time. So, so I really trusted uh, Bessie's eye for fashion and design when it comes thank to Thank you. Well, thank artists. you. You know, Lady Jane, if, when you when when you give your trust to people like me, a person like me, it makes it makes it more joyful to work on the book, really, because it was so fast that we did this uh, this second book because we trusted each other, mm. you know. And our editor is uh, Ruben, and my editor, yeah, my is partner. Ruben the editor? Your, your partner, your yeah, Ruben is the editor. Yeah. Oh wow, Ruben. <laughs> Ruben, you know, and, and even before. even even the the quotes, you know, and the things that we wrote. Um, okay, the quotes. Again, I was uh, I was given the honor of choosing which quote to to put, you know, to to add on to each celebrity's uh, page, and um, it was really nice because. I want people to read the book, not just make it visual. Yeah. It's not just a visual yeah. thing. I want them to, to read the book and then get something out of it. Not just, you know, beautiful pictures, but something something really very personal or very revealing about each celebrity that we included and each, you know, uh, um, designer that we included. We want them, we want our readers to, um, to feel that they have a connection with with everyone that they see on the on the pages, not just you know not just the celebrities, but of course the the Filipino designers who are the most important people in this book. Oh my goodness! Oh, okay now. So, what other surprises do you have for me? Please don't hold back because I don't want to hear about it tomorrow after this interview. I okay. want it now. So, if there's any scoop, we, now, we, now, now, now's the time. Any we scoop? are having a very amazing book launch on December yes. 3 here in Los Angeles. We have a mini fashion show. Every designer will have one dress and a model to go on the runway and at the house of uh, Emmy Award winning producer Lisa Manibo Blue, who is also a former beauty queen. She's putting a runway on her swimming pool and this house was the former house of Slash, you know, <laughs> the rock. Guns and Roses. Guns and Roses. So, this, so it's the, beautiful. It's like house a jungle beautiful. setting and yeah. lights. And and, uh, and she's going to also create uh, an exhibition with all the 15 designers' works. Mm-hmm. So I've seen the clothes. They were all flown in from different parts of the world, from Dubai, you know, and um, from Manila. So it, it's, it's just amazing. It's amazing because... There are already mannequins, you know, all over the house. So it's going to be there. It's going to be staged like a like an like an, an exhibit. Yeah. So oh, and then we have, we have to be there'll be, there. You have to fly in. You have have to fly fly in. <laughs> you gotta be there because there'll be performers and oh, there'll be also a fashion show with yeah using the clothes from the from the collection. Oh, from so the they're collections. gonna be wearing. Yeah. They're gonna be They're wearing, gonna be wearing yeah. clothes from from you know from the collections of uh, the fifteen the fifteen uh, designers featured on the book. Yes. So you have to, oh for me for me the, the surprise at the back of the book there's a full layout of of the author Janet of the editor Ruben the publisher me the three of us just having a blast. Yes. Can I see that at the back of the book? Can you show that? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I want to see that. I mean, oh behind behind all the glamour, behind all the red carpet photos that we have, you gotta but see you us. Know, Bessie and I, we work hard, oh but we play hard. <laughs> yeah, we work hard, but we play we hard. Work hard, but we play hard. We oh love my dance. God. Yeah, look at that. Oh, the shower <laughs> scene. <laughs> We have a bathroom it's scene. Exactly. We have we have stuff like oh, that, you know. Yeah, <laughs> we have, oh we, have yeah, we have very indecent uh, photos, but we, we couldn't oh. use it because yeah. <laughs> no, no, that's 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 <laughs> this really is a passion fashion project. Congratulations once once again. I love you both. You. And and Ruben. I adore and you. we adore you. Thank you so oh, much. I love you, Lisa. <laughs> love you, love, love you. Love you so much. <laughs> <laughs>
Hope you enjoy the show. Thanks for watching. Please follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Please don't drink and drive. Don't text and drive. Always be kind. Let's stop bullies. Stay safe, everyone. See you next week.